Hello you beautiful peeps, my name is John and welcome to my channel. Today we have the SG1604 and that is this model, not to be confused with the 1603 which is basically exactly the same chassis, just a different shell on it. Uh, to be clear, I've already been into this, I've taken the plastic covering off, I've put some stickers on and I have charged the battery. But it's not an unboxing unless it's in the box, is it? So, let's get on with it. And doesn't she look pretty? I do like a new car. I, I really, truly do. Sticker coming off. Whoops, 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 whoops. There we go. So, as I said, already had it out, so I know that that comes out nice and easy. I have not had the things in the bottom out, though, so... What is in here? Controllers. And box. Do, do, do. Make sure that the exposure lock is on. And then see what's in here. We have another battery. I did not know that it came with two batteries. That's handy. A little tip for you, keep things like this when it comes in, in boxes, because, you know, sometimes it's handy to connect stuff. Yeah, I always keep stuff. And we have the drift tyres. These are plastic and not rubber. We have some tools. Spare steering uh, tie rods there. A couple of clips. I, I do like the metal uh, nut remover there. And we have the bog standard charger. Straight in, plug it into a USB. If you ever have any problems with your batteries not charging or you're getting uh, sort of a, enough run time, change this, because invariably it is just that that there is the problem with. So, a little tip for you. Right, let's get rid of that, that, that. And we have the instructions here. And I will quickly go through them like I usually do, just in case somebody loses them. See the 1603, 1604. Now I've had the 1603 now for several weeks and we love it. But the reason why I wanted to have a look at the 1604 as well is because we're going to be racing them sort of together. Colin and myself are going to be driving around on the roof with it. Um, but I also just, you know, I just think they both look very cool. They are very, very good cars to have inside. No matter how many times I've hit a wall skirt and board, uh, chair, everything else I can think of, they've just bounced off, which is fantastic. In fact, on the 1603, I have not broken anything on it. You can see it's been beaten to hell, but I've not broken anything on it. Not one thing, not even the steering. Just thought about that. That's impressive, isn't it? Especially considering me. Quickly go through this. Uh, just do the parts list, just leave it for a little bit. There you go. Right, so that's the instructions. Now we know how they work, so I don't have to worry so much about that. Look at it, pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, actually, last night, uh, Colin and myself were on the roof and because of the lights, you've got these great lights at the front and uh, at the rear here um, I wanted to do some sort of night shots with the LED lights going around but I didn't want to drive this one on the roof because you saw with the 1603 it's very dusty on my roof at the minute so I actually got the cheater out and we did that but tonight we are going to be running these and seeing how much fun we can have with them on the roof quickly get into it oh, I hate these things that's why I always one of the first things that I do is get the cable ties and I put them on straight away and just cut them because then they're so much easier to pull off. So another little tip for you if you haven't done that yet. It's so much easier to pull off. There we go. Okay, let's get into it. Now, the shell is connected uh, to the ESC stroke receiver there. So you can just pull that out 
can't cause any damage with that, just be a little bit careful. And there we have it, pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, I'm, a, a lot of you already know, I'm not a fan of non-adjustable steering, but I have had absolutely no problems uh, with the 1603, so I'm not worried about that whatsoever. The ESP, or built-in gyro, is absolutely fantastic. I, I'm not gonna go into all of the details why you should buy this car versus some other ones similarly priced, because I've already done that in a video that I'll put in the that one of these sides, um, that, so you can go and watch, I think it's called the number one reason to get the 1603 and the, obviously the 1604. And that is just because it is amazing. It works really, really well. And you can definitely tell when you've turned off the gyro. Uh, for those that don't know, the gyro just, it steers for you when you're starting to slide. So like, if you're about to spin, it will turn the wheels for you and try and control the slide, okay? So there it is, very basic car, very, very, very good at what it does. Um, and as I said, one of the beautiful things about this, one of the great things that I appreciate the most with it is you can drive it inside. So when it's raining outside, you can still drive it around your living room, kitchen, hallways, wherever you want to do it. I've not tried it in the bath yet. I'm not sure if you could get some air like you would at a BMX track. Maybe someone can tell me whether you can do that or not. Um, so I think the very next thing that we should do is get it onto the roof with the 1603. And let's have a little bit of fun. So, ladies and gents, there is a huge difference with both of these cars, even though they're supposed to be identical and you will not believe it. I figured out why this one's going so slow. Those that have it already know this. Those that have this one are like, well, what's going on? On the side of the controller here, you've got channel four. On this car, it's for lights. So, you see the lights change. However, on this car, channel four, listen. Slow, turn it up. And we have now full speed. So for some reason, on these two cars, they've decided to set them up completely differently. So if you're having problems with your 1604 being too slow, ta-da! Okay, let's get on with some fun.
So just to update you all, this is uh, Colin and myself, he is the kid, I am the big kid, and in our excitement we forgot to take the uh, main camera out of slow motion. So what I was saying here is we put on the other tyres, let's see how fast it goes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the Blue Man. Well, um, <clears throat> what can I say about this little car? Did you see the way that Colin and myself kept on hitting each other, smashing into each other? We even started to play the game It. You're it. So, like, this car had to touch that car and then that car was it. And we literally were p piling into each other at full speed. And there's no damage. I mean, obviously, there's a few scrapes, a few knocks, and a few bangs. That's to be expected. That's probably just from us hitting the wall every time. But the car is in one piece. Now, tell me why. Why, 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 why? On one car, this is for the light. And on the other car, this is for the throttle speed for different settings. That's on slow, medium, and high. When this one's a light. That's just confusing, people. Makes me look like a right plonker. Now, some may say, yes, but John, you could have just looked in the instruction booklet. How dare you? How dare you tell me to look in the instruction booklet? Who does that? I don't. Ironically, I did look in the instruction booklet when I was <laughs> showing it on camera. But if you look here, there's a little thing there that says throttle speed limit switch. So, if you have this car, and if it's going slow, you know the reason why now. 
Um, now, I, either or, I had to take the diffs apart because every time I did this, they were turning like that. They were just rock solid, both front and rear. I mean, look now, this is after I've done it. There we go. Nice. Um, but they're still nowhere near as smooth as what they should be. They definitely need a second pair of those uh, cone gears and in the actual differential, both front and rear. So I am going to buy a, a set of discs for these and make sure that one set has uh, all of the, the gears in place. Um, the car itself, how did it perform? Well, I have to say, I love these cars. I'm sorry value for money over how much fun and enjoyment you get out of it they are bundles of fun now one thing that i would not have put money on and i'm surprised that i'm saying this and i'm surprised that both colin and i feel the same way i asked him just at the end of the video which tires he preferred the drift tires or these ones and both of us have said these ones which i wouldn't have said uh, they're just a lot more fun. You get a lot more speed out of it. What the diameter's a little bit more as well, so you get a little bit more speed. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely uh, a great, great car just for enjoyment level. Inside the house, I don't think these tyres will be any good. I think these ones will be much better. Now, there was something that I wanted to say, and I need to remember it. So it's going to go a bit quiet while I try to remember it. Okay. Here we are. I'm now like 60 seconds later and I can't remember. There were two things I wanted to say. I think one of them was about the diffs, but there was another one that I wanted to say and I can't remember. Sorry about the footage. Um, we left accidentally left the camera on slow-mo. So there was a section where we were talking about tyres that isn't recorded. Well, it is in slow motion, but that, that was just my mistake. I don't know why I did that. Very silly of me. So I apologise. You would have already seen it on the video. Uh, I've probably done a voiceover to, to fix the problem, but sorry about that. Uh, hopefully the 360 uh, footage turned out okay. Obviously, Colin and myself can't drive today. I do not know what was going on. Usually we're a lot better than that. Um, can I recommend this car or this car, the 1603 or the 1604? Most definitely, just for the gyro alone that manages to keep it in a straight line when you're messing up. When you've got these tyres on, both of us turn the gyro off because, you know, the car was just weaving back and forth. But when you've got the drift tyres on, fabulous. Really, really good indeed. Um, if you've got kids, having the ability on the 1604 to turn the throttle down to slow speeds is great. And take into consideration that is also going to be very handy to turn that down to low when you've got the drift tires inside your house when it's raining outside power sliding inside that will be absolutely perfect now there's two things that you're going to see once i end this video one is i'm going to throw in the footage of me doing the diffs on this car it's not usual quality it's me just quickly going through it uh, because I didn't expect to have to do it. Um, if you guys want me to do a proper, you know, grease the diffs video, I will do that. And the second one's going to be some night footage of both of these cars driving around with their lights on during the night. I don't know if the video is going to be able to pick them up, so it could just be some stills. So I'll put them in directly after the end of this video, and then I'll do the diff video. So if you want to see either of those, continue to watch the video after I have said goodbye. So, links for this car will be in the description below. Links for this car will also be in the description below. I recommend you getting one or two. If you've got a kid, get one for them as well and yourself. And trust me, you are going to have bundles of fun. I can't remember the last time that Colin and myself were giggling and laughing so much as what we were uh, recording this, this footage. It's cars like this that you, you expect not a lot from that bring out the most fun because they're not so technical you know they're they're a bit basic but because of that they just drive 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 and you just have fun with it and we were just giggling our asses away uh yeah there you go run and buy i definitely definitely can recommend it and having two batteries like this one came okay, with two batteries this one's only got one but having that extra battery saying that though this battery must have lasted for about 20 minutes driving this one for about 15 minutes now i mean that's pretty good on one battery but if you can afford to get the one with two batteries please do that so if you like the video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel as well and uh, take care of yourselves don't forget to stick around for the night footage and the differential video take care of yourselves bye bye
are all so tight. Okay, I've just taken that diddy screw out there. That next screw is from there. I didn't expect to be doing a um, strip down this morning. In fact, I don't have time to do a strip down, but here we are. Oops. That is tight. Oh, come on. Ooh, that is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Are you kidding me? I've heard it reported before. I know that David over at um, Perth West Oz RC said that there was only one pair of uh, cone cogs inside, but really, how much money are you saving pine wood or whatever you're called? That's shocking. <sighs> right, okay, well... I'm not going to even bother, there's not enough grease in there for me to worry about taking the old stuff out, so I'm just going to whack some in there. I'm wondering if it's rubbing on, so see on the, let me grab a, a pointing device, see how it's sort of rubbing up against the edge there. Yeah, do you know what, I'm going to put in some spaces there. Oh, everything that I did not be expecting to do today. These are M2 washers. Take these out. If you have spare ones of these for this car, I suggest that you put two pairs in in the cross formation because that really is shocking. Sorry about not having the second camera here. I did not be, I did not expect to be having to do this this morning. All right. That's why the audio is also not the same because 
the camera that has the good audio is outside ready for the drifting. Getting hot and sweaty. Like what I'm going to be pretty soon. Squidge City. Cool. I'm just going to make sure that the gears are in position. Which they seem to be. Maybe make sure that the holes are lined up. That's always a good advantage. I'm not going to do them all the way in with this because you can cause damage. So I'm just going to do them up to a certain amount and then do it by hand. How much money are they saving by only having one pair? That is shocking. Don't do these too tight because that can also cause them to uh, lock up, especially when you've got plastic, this one being plastic. Yeah, that's now moving. Bonkers. Niceness. I know a lot of people out there don't like the fact that you have to do maintenance before your first run, but it's better to do this before destroying the diffs. Let me tell you that. You're going to be out of operation for a lot longer if you've got to order new diffs and wait for parts to arrive from China than taking, what is this, 20 minutes to put some grease in the diffs. That's still tight. Why is that so tight? from make hands so these are the opposite to the WR toys WR toys goes this way so this one will go that way which means that this one will go this way don't forget to put a little bit of grease on the inside here as well some say you don't need it well a lot of people say you don't need it but I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it quite frankly
if you look. I thought I'd fit it in properly, but I haven't. If you see here on the steering column, see how it's not sat in there, and that's why this is bowing up. Always double check, John. There we go, sitting proper. Cool. Drive shaft. Come on. I mean, it's smoother, but it's not doing this. I'm hoping it's not a case of... Um, oh, there we go. Oh, why did they only put one set in? That's really annoying. If I had to guesstimate, you're literally talking about pennies, cents. Maybe not even that much. Why, why, why? Okay, there's not a lot of room to show you here because of this uh, LED cable. I don't want to tear it out. Let's get that off. We are in a little bit of grease. Ah, I love the fact that there's nice big chunky drive shafts on this one. Uh -oh. To be clear, the 1603 did have two pairs on the inside. So that's a very strange situation, isn't it? Saving on one but not the other. Ah, there we go. Much better. Okay, I'm going to run it a little bit slowly to start with to make sure that all the grease is mixed in, but that's much, much, much better.
See you soon.